Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, this is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. We'll see Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Chargers and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. First down, it's Herbert, and it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And yeah, they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield break towards the middle the ball should be there and then they can get to do some work afterwards so from Rams territory now it's first and 10 at the 41 <laughs> Herbert back to the air and his throw is incomplete well they've got man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands they want man coverage not zone and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Herbert. And this is caught, first catch for Keenan Allen. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. And his arm strength is often described as out of this world. And I've seen some throws out of him that are just really off the charts. But sometimes he relied on his arm so much his footwork got in the way. Led to some inconsistency. But I've loved watching him evolve as a quarterback. He gets better and better each year. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the gun, here's Stafford. And it is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. It'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll throw from the gun. He'll get this to Eckler. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup.
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. No score after one on EA Sports. Second down, Eckler. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. <laughs> going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he will find his man on the outside. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Shotgun snap for Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But he was looking for Mike Williams that time. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the ground, it's Eckler. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's third and short. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun, Herbert steps away to his left. He may try and run for this. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half. And, our, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. 
but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. They're less than two minutes ago in the game, which means that this challenge was initiated by the fellows in New York. And if you're the coach, you're thinking, thank you, New York. <laughs> Try to punch it in with Eckler. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And this time he is in. Yes. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers have taken the lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. On first down, Stafford here. That's taken in by Henderson. And that goes on the other side of midfield at the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. On first and 10, Stafford. 
And he'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To throw again on second down. Stafford, he's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down at Stafford. And he spots Henderson open left side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down. Stafford, he'll get this one to cut complete. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. to throw again to the end zone but it's incomplete he was in search of his tight end Tyler Higby but it'll be second and goal from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered so that took his attention elsewhere to no avail they'll go again from the three here on second and goal to the air again Stafford A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So a late touchdown here just before the half, and that obviously changes the dynamic of this game. Yeah, in a couple of ways, partner, because they've been shut out up into this point. So now at least they go into the locker room, and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to them a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game, an extra point away from tying things up. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So this drive spans seven plays, and the result for the Rams, a touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only gonna fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not gonna be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. 
And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. On the return, it's Symbol Webster. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Right side complete. That's Woods. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll try and run for this with Akers, and they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. One yard is the game. And that leads to a Los Angeles first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a run with Akers. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Stafford. Got a man over the middle, it's Woods. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Stafford on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. 
Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. The shotgun snap for Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing again at Stanford. And open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Again, it's Stafford. And this is taken in by the tight end, Bryson Hopkins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Henderson now on first and 10. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game. And collectively, has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. <laughs> Stafford looking to throw on third and one. Caught at the seven yard line. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, Stanford. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That catch good for only a couple. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete 
Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, it's complete. He's getting it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods there to make the grab. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. the touchdown. Here's Gay to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. Bam. Herbert and the Chargers down 14 to 7. 2.24 to go. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two minute warning as they've got it first and 10. down it's Herbert and that's into the hands of Eckler and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds they'll contain him to just four second down out of the gun Herbert and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's charger football as we welcome you back from the two minute warning they come up on a first and ten desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive and his throw here is incomplete Intended receiver there was Donald Parham. And it's second down. So he's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now Herbert. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Herbert. Caught left side, Williams. 
And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Herbert now to throw. Flushed out right. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. 23 yards on the tuck and run. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Give him six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now it's Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards and now it's fourth. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. He's got his man. It's Williams. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone. And that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field. Congratulations to them. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.